Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Pokey Gems Art. All right, check out this awesome project. I mean, how is it possible to draw this and make it look so 3D? It's called a Geometric Optical Illusion and I will teach you today. But before we get started, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, today's project, we're gonna start out with a basic piece of paper, a ruler, and a pencil. Now the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to draw an arrow. Simple arrow, mine is about four inches by two inches. I mean, check this out. That's basically it. I mean, how easy was that? Now when you draw this arrow, you're gonna draw it in the top left hand corner of your paper here, because later when we cut this, we're gonna finish off the project and that's when we're gonna make it look 3D. Now to help it make it look 3D, we've got to add a 3D outline underneath it. So basically it's almost like adding a second arrow to make it look, you know, like it's really coming off the paper there. So basically we're going to come down a couple of inches and we're going to draw almost a 3D extension of it, just like we did here. Check that out. I mean, that was pretty easy. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, and you guys know I love starting off with pencil. That's a big rule of mine, almost every project, because then you can erase, you can change. Now, once I'm happy with my project here, I'm gonna go over it with Sharpie. I mean, you can use all different kinds of markers. Mine here is the fine point Sharpie. I like it because you can really get in there nicely, and obviously being that it's permanent, that means that it stays on your paper forever. All right, we're done with that part. I mean, we are literally almost halfway done. Now the part where we make it come off, we're gonna make it pop off the paper. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna color this. Guys, go ahead and use any color. I chose a blue like this because you'll see in a minute, when I add some pencil highlighting to it, it really comes off nicely. I mean, you can use paint, you can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, really anything you want. I, like I said, I really like my Sharpie markers. I'm gonna use that today. All right, we're gonna color most of it, but we're gonna leave two sections uncolored, and you'll see why. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it with pencil a little bit. Now this is something different that I'm just trying here. There's nothing wrong with trying different ideas, guys. Mix things. I mean, I'm mixing marker with pencil, and I said, hey, why not? You know, I mean, you can mix paint, you can do anything. It just gives it a really unique color. I mean, it makes it pop off the paper even more. And then these two sections here, I'm gonna do especially a little bit darker because if you look at it, the whole point is to really, really highlight those shadows. Now this section below, I'm gonna do strictly with pencil. I'm gonna go over it a few times until I'm really, really happy. You can also use the charcoal pencil. You've seen me use charcoal pencil in many projects, but in this case, I'm just gonna use my regular pencil. And like I said, I'll go over it a few times to make that really pop off the paper. All right, that's basically it, super simple. We're basically done with the arrow. Now what we're gonna do, the whole point of this fun illustration, is we're gonna make it look like it's sitting up in the air and there's a ladder connected to it and somebody's getting ready to climb up that ladder. So let me go ahead and just make a basic ladder. I mean, what is a ladder? It's basically a couple of lines, and then you've got the little steps. And then again, I started with pencil. I'm gonna go over this one with a, a fine point marker. And then go ahead and make your steps like so. And then when I'm done with this, I'm gonna go over it one more time with marker, but this time without using my ruler. Just to make it kind of look more older, more rickety, and then maybe add a little bit of a shadow to it uh, to make it really look like it's leaning against that arrow. All right, the next thing we've gotta do, of course, is make a shadow. Now, what is a shadow? A shadow is basically picture the sun kind of in the upper left-hand corner and throwing rays down, right? So then below the arrow, you're gonna have a shadow. So you're basically gonna make another diagram of an arrow right below it, but just a little bit lighter. This time, I'm not gonna use marker. I'm strictly gonna make it with pencil, and then I'm gonna make my shadow really look like it's below it and I'm gonna also add a shadow of the ladder itself because of course the sun is beaming on that also. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use my smudging cloth. You guys have seen me use that before. Feel free to do this with your finger. You can do this with a paper towel. I use my smudging cloth. I like it better. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is take my charcoal pencil 
and I'm gonna make a little shadow of my ladder. So you see how it kind of comes from the corner of the actual ladder? And then basically picture the sun going down and casting a shadow on it, it's throwing it down. So we've gotta make it look a little bit realistic. All right, that's basically it. Any kind of filings or anything I might have there from my eraser, I use my brush to get that off. Keeps it nice and clean. Clean on art is important. Let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit too. Again, just use your eraser, use your brush. All right, that's basically it for that part. Now what I'm gonna do is, I think just looking at it, I'm gonna darken these edges up just a little bit more because if, if you make it a little bit darker, it makes it really, really look like it's popping off the paper. So feel free to make it a little darker. Feel free to even add some color on this too if you'd like. All right, that's basically it there. All right, super important part now. We're gonna cut our paper. So take a long ruler, basically make a line right here, pretty much kind of where the arrow is at its widest point. And then this part here where I marked, that's the part you're gonna cut out. So take your scissors. Now again, be careful. If you are a child, have a parent or someone uh, responsible, cut this part out. But basically you're gonna cut along this line here and then cut the arrow also. Now one tip I use here is make sure you don't leave even a tiny little bit of, of the white paper because that can really throw it off. So that's kind of a little art tip I made for you. And that's it. Move your camera away and check that out, guys. I mean, it, just by using a specific camera angle, putting it on a dark surface, I mean, it literally looks like it's 3D. Guys, what kind of materials did we use today? Super, super easy. All right, of course we started with a piece of paper. I chose my blue Sharpie. We used a regular number two pencil. We used our fine marker. All right, we used our charcoal pencil. We used a ruler. We used some scissors and a chamois. Guys, that's it. If you like this project, please make sure you hit subscribe. Turn on those notifications. Give me a like, guys, and I'll see you on the next project.